Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Punch House, the online show where humans take to the internet to do what they do best, argue with each other over trivial nonsense. And here comes the only person with the machismo to bring you this madness, your host, Brianna Woodward. Everybody and welcome to Punch House with me, your host, Brianna. And today I have three guests, Ed Richters, George Newton, and Brian Barbecue. Yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah. So we are picking some fighters from a category and we're going to see who out of that category would win in a bare knuckle brawl? And <laughs> our category this week is famous paintings. So I will kick things off with my uh, delegate, if you will. I'm going to go with the girl in the pearl earring by fucking, I don't know, some dick, Johannes Vermeer. Yeah, so Johan Veneer is out here. He painted this bitch with a pearl earring, and I picked Wait, her. wait, wait. So your, your number one draft pick is a chick that comes from the, what's, uh, <laughs> someone about Mary with a freaking, like, jizz just hanging off her ear? Like, come on. No, no, I picked her, listen, she are, like, she is the girl with the pearl earring. Singular. Yeah, with the that pearl means necklace. this bitch has, yeah. she has experience, all right? So she has already had someone hold her other earring, and she lost it in, like, the best. She's like, fuck that earring. She's still out here grinding, though. Like, I don't know, look at her bitchy-ass face. I feel like her attack is definitely, like, a four. Like, she's vicious. She's not strong. I'd give her, like, a two. She's scrappy, but she's not big. Defense, probably also a two. She's got, like, a lot of them rags and shit on, but, like, stamina? I'm gonna give her a five. You can fucking punch this bitch all day. She has got this. And, like, special moves? Oh, she takes the earring out and she, like, stabs you with it or something. But no, that's... But you can only use it once, because most of the time it's gotta be bare knuckles. So no weapons. I don't know. Is an earring a weapon, you guys? Can you kill someone with an earring? Does that count? Most I don't know. Is a woman with one earring famous? Well, that actually ties into my painting a lot. I actually want to go with uh, Euronymous Bosch's painting, The Garden of Earthly Delights, because there is an ear with a knife sticking out of it. There's just two ears with a knife sticking out of it. You've got to find it and you got to focus on it. That is who I picked as my attack bot or whatever avatar for this fight. I think the ears with a giant knife sticking out of it. Because if you look in all the paintings, it makes a reoccurring theme. So ears with a knife is just pretty much an unstoppable force. Because how do you really stop it with a loud noise? Nah, he's going to stab you. Because he's ears with knife. You knife. can't use, it's a bare knuckle. He ain't even got knuckles. It's just an ear. Dog, he's showing know. up this part knife of your ears like a fucking existing. knuckle. existing. He doesn't need knuckles because he's a knife with ears. He can hear you coming and then he just stabs. No, I don't know. I'm overruling knife ear. It's like, you can't use, you can't just be like, I'm a giant knife. <laughs> like, that's bullshit. It's so hard. <laughs> I don't know. What if my earpiece was a knife? I could go at somebody with that. That would be yeah, but that could work. A knife. If this was a no weapons, like you are down to like your physical fleshy parts, dog. I she could totally take a fucking ear. Like left the ear is floating though. There's magical properties to the ear. He is uh, all consciousness because yeah, of hearing. He's complete. God, what? No, you find a new fucking that painting has a thousand things. You find I know that's why I'm zooming in on it. But I saw it right when you said, "Can an earring be a weapon?" And I'm like, "Well." <laughs> All right, George, what do you got? All right, I'm gonna go with an obscure one. I'm going with Hangry Jesus from The Last Supper. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Bruh. Oh shit! Uh, Pretty good. Yeah. I think it's I mean, a he could turn, like, water into wine. But it's Jesus, though. He's a pacifist. He's going to get his fucking shit rocked, dude. I mean, why is he hangry? Shouldn't he just eat himself? Yeah, like, he could fucking turn, like, loaves into fishes or whatever the fuck. Like, he's Jesus. What are you talking about? He's literally right? turning the bread into his body. Yeah, he's made out of bread. <laughs> hey. Jesus is a carb. This is bullshit. Get out of here. You kill him, and like three days later, he's gonna come back and kill you again. 
Oh, shit. All right. Well, he does have that extra life advantage, but I don't know about that one. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. While, while, we're, while we're all fighting, like, weird ears and shit. Wait, did George get a chance to say his thing, or did we all interrupt him? No, we're, we're, no, George, I don't know if I'm totally on board with Jesus. We'll see what else he can come up with, but we'll, we'll put a pin in it. What do you, what do you got? All right. I, I'm just, I'm just saying, so long as we're talking about tessellating body parts, I got to bring in the new descending a staircase. I mean, we're just talking about this lady that is just having the worst day of her life coming down the stairs. Uh, doesn't even look like a lady, just looked like a broken pile of shit on a piece of paper. Did you uh, assume that broken pile of shit's gender? Unbelievable, Ed. Listen, you, uh, you know what? It is a nude descending a staircase. You're correct. They fell down the stairs like a piece of shit. Absolutely, completely full of shit I am. Uh, but anyway, so th we'll just call it nude. I'm saying that, you know, when it's in motion, nude is like, a, its attack is a five because it's relentless. But when it's not moving, it's just like a wall of weird stuff. So... But it's really not that strong when it's going down because it's too fast and it's all over the place. But when it's still, it's a fucking wall. Um, but uh, I don't know. She can, it can distort time and space. And basically, you know, I think that if you got this knife wielding set of ears, it's just going to turn into a rock monster. It'll, it'll block right. that stuff. Disregard the ears. Disregard the ears. Because I, th I was going with heavy hitters because I thought you guys were going to come at me with some th something cool. But then I got... Uh, hungry Jesus, even though he's made out of bread. It's like, eat yourself or whatever. Uh, a lady with a necklace, and then what was it? The concept of stairs? <laughs> Dog, my set, one of my, like, third draft picks was I was going to go with American Gothic. That guy is a stone-cold killer. He is standing there with a pitchfork with this hardened look like, I beat the shit out of 900 people just to get this farmland. What the fuck are you going to do? Nah, you know? and I believe that look at him, he's a stone-cold killer, and then someone painted it. That guy is bare-knuckle boxed a uh, and animal before he beat up no, a bear probably no i'd fucking yeah i would take that because even like without the pitchfork he probably he could probably take someone like he could definitely take a punch or whatever like i don't know he's that guy looks like he's definitely dealt seat. out an ass whooping or two i think like, american look gothic the wife, the heart. Though. look at the wife though she's up in the cut like she doesn't need no fucking pitchfork but she's still no. got that fucking that's not his wife that's, that's his sister is it yeah. Whoa. Well, then again, if you look at his sister, she's off to the side looking at some crazy shit, but she's got this look in her eyes like, well, just give me one reason why I won't destroy you right now. So yeah, like she still ain't got no fucking pitchfork. She's still like, she's, yeah, she I, doesn't would need say, it. Mm -hmm. I would say attack. She probably has like a solid... I don't know. Do you think she's fast? I'd say... I, she's probably fast, but she's probably like, you know, scratch, kick. No, she's got no weaponry, you know. The yeah, guy with I the pitchfork at least is going to have some tactic to him with, like, he's definitely got some defense tactics with the pitchfork. He can definitely, like, clamp it down. Like, that, that classic, like, you put someone's foot down with it, and then you oh, do something crazy, and you got him it? pinned down, and then you're like, game over, motherfucker, and then you end them. Something epic. American Gothic's definitely got, like, a two-line, then you're done. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if we – all right, so we got to narrow down, like, the top two or whatever – and like the top two fighters do you do, do you think he would really be one american gothic like are we are we throwing him in i was just looking up famous painting because no one was going to go for my uh 19 or 1500 surrealism so i decided <laughs> to bail on that quickly but when i saw american gothic i was just looking at this dude's eyes and i was like for real though because and then i was hearing what you guys were picking i'm like i really think this guy is just like he's got a hardened past it looks like a mug shot but like outside <laughs> Yeah, I mean, dog, like, when it comes to, like, bare-knuckle boxing, like, usually it's exactly. these crazy old dudes wearing overalls and shit. You're not really gonna fuck with them, so. Yeah, they got that old man strength. Like, he's smoking a cigarette, but he still lifted a car with one hand. You're like, how the yeah. fuck did that happen? He's out here with them fucking I, lucky strikes. Yeah, I, I support American Gothic. I think that might be. American right. Gothic's at least up there as a top contender least, for me. I didn't think it was going to well, be a we'll top contender, but got. I think he could whoop Jesus' ass. That's yeah. for sure. Well, American Jesus. Gothic could whoop Yeah, it. George, we, we ixnade Jesus. Jesus yeah, is dead. I gotta say uh, what else sure. you got? All right. So I also uh, went with another uh, super famous painting of dogs playing poker. Ooh, an <laughs> animal. Nice. Yeah, because who doesn't love dog fighting? Yo, <laughs> fair game. <laughs> I like oh, these fucking dogs. They're already out here gambling. They're not above crime. Fuck out of here. 
You know how many people they murdered to get to that table? Yeah, like, that's a fucking dog of bad bitches. All right, that's my time. <laughs> <laughs> what what dog would you pick out of those, George? Uh, I picked a gray dog. He's cheating in the front, actually, because he seems kind of badass, but also kind of small and wily. Mm. So. I feel like all the, like, contenders are, like, wiry. They're really, is there, like, a bulldog? I don't, I gotta look at that painting, but I'd pick, like, the beefy one. There is definitely some beefy boys in that. In yeah, the, I would probably, I'd put my money on, like, a beefy boy. Because, like, if you're putting beefy boy up against American Gothic, like, okay, if he had the pitchfork, yes, he could just, and it'd be done. It'd be a wrap. But take away that do- that dude's fucking pitchfork and, like, I don't know, Beefy Boy's gonna fucking grab it. I don't know. See, maybe maybe that's where the maybe that's where the sister comes into play. Maybe she's got some like druid elements or no, something. She no, can do like a dog no, whisper. Okay, her. no, if yeah. no, we're not doing a tag team, but if it was a tag team, he's got a whole table of dogs. Like, yeah, they're playing poker against each other, but like Okay, you're right. A no, American dogs Gothic probably takes out American Gothic. I could get behind that. Yeah, Amer- American dogs. Gothic, they're all Great Depression and shit. Those dogs are just going to come. They're going to throw a couple of dollars. That American Gothic's going to look away, and he's going to jump on them. Yeah, they got money. They got the real winner. <laughs> like, they got fucking money and shit. No, that's... I like- don't know. The American Gothic's got a pitchfork, though. What, you, you, you think he's above stabbing dogs? <laughs> he's definitely not above stabbing dogs. <laughs> you can't use the pitchfork. <laughs> Ed, what and else? No one said the fight was going to be a slam dunk. Yeah, he's fighting a pack of dogs. Okay, all right, so fine. You got American Gothic taking knit bottles and duct taping them to his hand like the end of that <laughs> Liam Neeson movie, fucking into the gray. And he's gripping. Can he do that? Can he at least? No. <laughs> <laughs> he's just Freddy Kruegering with freaking broken knit bottles. Is that it? I mean, what do you want? It's American Gothic. He's got a drinking problem. <laughs> that I believe. I just don't yeah. believe he drinks nips. I think he just drinks it straight out of. <laughs> he just drinks like corn whiskey that he just like yeah. Oh, yeah. In a barrel. <laughs> yeah, he's got that drug unpredictability. You're right. He doesn't feel pain. So dog bites are nothing. He's like, I felt dog bites before. Give me some core corn whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> dog bites cure cancer. It's that alcohol. All right. Ed, Ed had like an otherworldly dimensional being of like questionable gender identity. What else do you got over there? I don't out. know. I don't know. I got I got my man, Mr. Joseph, don't give a fuck to Cruz over here. This guy's not only a portrait painter, but he's famous for his own freaking portrait. I mean, he yeah. just looks at you and he knows he's cooler than you. Uh, he just doesn't give a single fuck. I love this guy. But uh, got to say, his attack is probably a two. This guy's definitely pugilist. He's, he, he's given one of these. He's an artist. What's he going to do besides paint a beautiful picture about <laughs> he'll it? Get, he'll get his ass whooped, and then he's going to paint you fucking a dog. And if that you want to go self-portrait versus self-portrait, because one of my uh, top contenders was the, the Van Gogh self-portrait, where he's all swirly and stuff. But if you want to go self-portrait and self-portrait, Van Gogh's going to cut off his other ear just to intimidate you. He's going to Mike Tyson himself. Yo, and dude, Mike Tyson dude, dude, Joseph the crew is already laughing at you cutting off your own ear, because that's a fucking stupid ass thing to do you goddamn idiot get off your fucking absinthe and quit cutting off your body parts for yeah, shit. van gogh's gonna kill himself before he kills anyone else like he was a fucking emo boy and like yeah all right painter, i would definitely i would beat the shit out of them get out of here no way i like ed's choice i forget the name of the painting but i know what it looks like because he's a meme and like yeah, yeah. he says memes aren't cultured <laughs> No, he like he's got like the, he's got a crazy look in his eye. That dude definitely like if you put that dude in like modern clothing and like outside of a Seven Eleven, you would not make fucking eye contact. Like he is crazy. Yeah, and guess who dropped him off? American Gothic. <laughs> Who's got that minivan? <laughs> you think American Gothic would drive a minivan? Well, that's like a whole other show, dog. We're not. So basically, it comes down to can Ed's choice beat the pack of dogs? Though, does he have the it factor to right, well, yeah, let's tame and or defeat a pack of dogs? He's, he's, he's playing poker, the, gambling dogs, dogs with a gambling court. problem. Mm-hmm. I I take Ed's painting over the dogs. No, uh, all right, fighting. I, women, if I we're going strength wise, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I don't know, dog. Like, I don't know. I really, I just, I think Ed's probably, I 
think you're you're underselling him a little bit. I think his attack wouldn't be that low. I don't think it would be that low. Like he looks like he could like he can paint himself. We know firsthand that the person in the painting has hand skills. It's a good painting. He's got some good coordination. Like he's leaning on his crutch. Like are we really having a hard time? finding someone that can beat up a bunch of dogs right now. This is crazy. Listen, like, I know who could beat up a bunch of dogs. Motherfucking King Charles the First. That guy had a whole army of people that could beat up a freaking pack of dogs. Well, but uh, if we're going, but, but again, then that's too many, but that's a famous painting. Like, I don't know. I think, I just, well, think, look, I just didn't think George was going to have such a sleeper painting. Yeah, I guess. Well, George, do you have anything else? Because going off of what Ed just said, if we're going to do George King fucking whatever the fuck, uh, then I want to yeah, throw Charles the, the first in three positions. Napoleon. It's three pictures of himself. He's looking at himself. He's game for this shit. He has to send a whole army to kill some dogs. He's not much of a king. Yeah, and also, uh, I see your king, and I raise you the coronation of Napoleon by Jacques Louis David, or whatever the fuck. Like, that's Napoleon, dog. We know he may be little, but he packs a big punch, all right? I should know. Little guys, they, they got a lot of fight in them. Eric Pumpkin. He's like a dog all right. dog. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't know. I don't know. Who would win? Didn't they fight Napoleon versus King, whoever? No, they were about 300 years apart. But Who she, was older? Who died first? I don't know. They both died at the same time, though. Napoleon had the good sense to actually die in exile. they died at the same time? How are they 300 years apart? No, wait, wait. What do you mean? Well, Charles I died first in history. <laughs> what is that? What he died first. Died Napoleon in history. <laughs> Wait, so simply because he was born before Napoleon, he loses? That's fucking stupid. Then I'm going to go find a painting of fucking Donald Trump out of the fucking White House and say he wins because it's the most recent fucking painting ever painted. What the fuck kind of criteria is that bullshit? New is always better. <laughs> New is always better. It's yeah, always that's it. Better. All reboots are better than original movies. Get out of here. This, no, this argument just became something else entirely. Look, all right. Wow. We, need to boil it, we need to boil it down. American Gothic, I think we've all agreed, is a top contender. We got the dude from American That's Gothic. That's who I'm sticking with. I'm hoping the polls and the American people really show up for American Gothic. Yeah, That's what, what, I'm what, are, what are his stats again? What would you say his stats are? I'd say he's slow, given his age and stuff but he i say he really is um exper he's got experience he's got xp to the fucking max i say he's slow but he packs a hard hit so like if you get hit once or twice he's gonna knock you the fuck out like you don't want to get in his zone but you can his he's got some he's got some weaknesses you can take him you can hit him in the knees you can take his pills away for a few days like shit can happen but american gothic he's got that unpredictable um i've seen some shit rage that could kind of just come out and i think he would you know choke some fucking poker dogs out or bribe them or something he would just all right i'm gonna say his attack is yeah so it's like attack's like a three strength solid four defense probably also a three but like stamina five because he's just like he can just keep going he's fucking nuts yeah yeah, yeah. but he's got yeah yeah yeah, yeah he's I mean, sturdy yeah, all right so it's gonna come down to like the fucking the pack of dogs and who else fucking king no what about girl with the pearl earring, you guys? She That's is... yours, but you said she has she has some sort of like intantress thing or something. Like I don't even know. No, what the fuck I don't is. know. Like she's just like for okay, a pack of dogs versus a girl with one. She's got like a lot of rags and shit. She could just make like a tug of war and then throw it at like the dog and just like distract it. But like if it came oh, down God. to the girl versus the old man. It's like, like, the dogs wouldn't matter. Whether or not she could beat the dogs doesn't matter. It's whether or not who can beat American Gothic at this point. And I think Girl with a Pearl Earring could be a top contender. Because, like, get out of here! She's, like, she fucking, she's younger. She's, got, she's quicker. What she lacks in strength, she makes up for in speed. How is she, how is she quicker? She already lost one earring. She couldn't go back and get but it. If she she's that fucking quick. Else hold it. She has experience fighting. The old man. Wait, she's going, like, hold my earring. I'm about to fuck this motherfucker up. I'm helping you destroy my fucking argument right now. But yeah, that's, like, that's what she's You only give away one. You only give away 
It was like, please punch me on my good side. I don't know. I feel like American Gothic has nothing to live for. So. I feel like American Gothic's gonna like throw the pitchfork and then she steps on it and smacks herself in the face like Beavis and Butthead. This is bullshit. <laughs> All right, bullshit for straight up booby I'm trap. I'm going with the fucking dog then. I'm going with the beefy boy from the dogs. I hope the dogs take a bite out of American Gothic's leg. Cause without that pitchfork, he ain't got nothing. Yeah, well, well, funny story is as soon as the dogs bite American Gothic's leg, they die of the fentanyl overdose and then it's all dead. They got rabies anyway. They don't need whatever that old guy's got. Yeah, they don't got medicine. Like, he's gonna get an infected fucking dog wound and that shit, he's a wrap. He's done. He ain't got the fucking medicine for it. So, like, I don't know, like, that beefy boy, I would give his attack probably, like, speed? Probably, like, a five. He's probably up there in speed. Strength? Also, like, I don't know, he's a dog. So, like, gotta be fair. I'd say, like, four. Defense? I don't know how hard can you kick a dog. Y'all ever kick dogs? Can we do a defense <laughs> test real quick? We're going to do some Mythbusters tests. Yeah, we need to do some Mythbusters. <laughs> Anyone got, like, a fucking dog nearby so I can, like, kick it in the head? <laughs> like, I brought a Pomeranian. <laughs> it's not a Pomeranian. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'd say probably, like, a three. And then stamina? That looks like a fat, like, it, it's a big dog, but it's still a big dog. And big dogs are lazy as hell. He probably got about, like, a minute or two of fucking fighting him. And then he's like, oh, I'm gonna go fucking take a dump and a nap. <laughs> like, so Stanima's low, yeah. but where would you put um, him being a good boy at? A five? <laughs> nah, he gets a zero. He's cheating. He's fucking, he's playing poker. He's a bad boy. <laughs> Damn. All right, you guys. Are we are we in agreement then? At least I'm sticking with my answer. All right, I'm Team American Gothic versus the big boy in the dog. Are we good? I think those are the only ones that can actually beat one another. Otherwise, it's just a route. Yeah. Damn. All right. I didn't, I I honestly didn't think it was gonna come to this at all. <laughs> And I'm really surprised, and I'm really excited now. I know. I, like, I really wanted, like, the Euronymous Bosch painting to pop off. Like, I was hoping, Doug, I, I did, too, but it was too much to take in and too much to explain, because as soon as I started to explain the ears, I could just see you all mentally check out, and I was like, well, never mind, then. I will get more conventional with it. And then I just, I just looked at the painting, and I swear to God, that motherfucker's eyes just caught me, and I'm just looking at this pitchfork, and, like, nothing really behind him, and then his eyes, and I'm just like, ah, this motherfucker's gonna beat up everybody that's fair i mean all right well for what it's worth in the uranus bosch fucking triptych i would definitely pick the dude who's like hosting an open mic in his asshole or whatever yeah like, there's so much but it's like would i think they went in a fight or is he just fucking himself in the butt and scaring <laughs> everybody so i kind of i kind of like rightfully left i don't know have you thing. ever hosted an open mic in your asshole your own asshole i wouldn't fight that guy he could i don't know he's got a lot of <laughs> I, I at least deserved an honorable mention. I appreciated you guys hearing me out until I fucking totally changed my mind. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> no, that's a great painting. You guys, this is such a cultured episode of Punch House. Thank oh, you guys yeah. so much. Uh, so now it's really up to the commenters to just kind of fucking duke it out for us because we can't be here all night. So yeah, American Gothic dude or the beefy boy. Who, who do you think will win? I don't know. Personally, my money's on fucking American Gothic. Fuck that dog. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank this you matters for me a lot now. Yeah, it fucking, it matters now. Put money I'm on it. I'm about to run a campaign. <laughs> All those gambling ass dogs are about to put money on it. It's cool. All right. Thank you so much to Ed Richters, George Newton, and Brian Barbecue for joining me. I will be here next week with a whole new episode. And yeah, see you then. Bye, everybody.